Welcome back. This is Tuesday. The day is Tuesday, and uh, it's almost 11 o'clock uh, in the morning. And we are out here trying to find some bamboo tree we can cut so we can cook uh, our sea cucumber that we're gonna dive. Then we're gonna go, gonna go out to sea and dive and hopefully find some so we can cook it. Uh, we're gonna show you the process, but uh, before we head out to sea, let's make sure we have um, fire. fire. Uh, for, and Very for that, fire. we're gonna use the bamboo tree. Not the green one, the brown one. After this, we're gonna go to the sea and get some uh, sea cucumber. The the one that the uh, Chinese buy in Fiji. In my village, there's one thing. They produce to get money. It's going out of the sea and in the uh, farm, forest. And in the sea, you go get some sea cucumber. Easy money, hard work. Yeah, so basically, um, when we're gonna get this sea cucumber, we're gonna cook it, prepare it, and uh, the next morning, Wednesday, we're gonna go to the capital city or to the mainland and try to sell it. Um, this is how the uh, the village uh, people they make their money. It's um, it is uh, hard work, and um, and you're gonna see the uh, the process about it. And um, yeah, this is how you become a village entrepreneur. That is. Hmm, that's maybe a uh, a title of this, this video, Village Entrepreneur. And uh, the sea cucumbers, they have been, um, uh, the government has put a ban on it for some people say three, some people say five years where you couldn't sell it. So this month, only this month, uh, July month, 2022, uh, you are allowed to sell it for one month only so that's why everybody uh, that lives next to the sea uh, they are out every day try to find the sea camp the sea cucumber as you can see even getting the bamboo tree is hard work so we have finished uh, getting our bamboo tree for the fire and um, my cousin said we only need three so um, and this is gonna be slow cooked for how many hours three, three hours they say until it's ready um, and there are a lot of uh, sea cucumbers, like uh, there are a lot of um, different types of sea cucumber and um, particularly this one, they sell it to the Chinese but we also have like um, another one that's like a delicacy here in this village and I'm gonna do a video on that in another day but uh, they say it's really 
delicious I don't know about that the way it looks it doesn't look delicious <laughs> but uh yeah let's uh, follow the journey of uh, the village entrepreneur okay let's go let's go let's go let's see up, 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 up. okay okay. okay I'm gonna do this without injuring myself Okay. I'm ready to go now to the village. Luckily, it's not that heavy. I have to watch out for this. It doesn't hit my eye. But as long as you keep the balance, you gotta, you're gonna be all right. And uh, luckily, also, this is not uh, one of the heaviest thing I've uh, carried. Uh, here in the village so I feel like this should be walk in the park so I have arrived at uh, at my village and I have to drop this off to Chosese's uh, house and uh, after that we're gonna go in the sea Mbula Mbubani Mbula don't pull on the one. Pull a cuckoo. Look at that girl over there. Ay, karaik. Hey, baby. Say, it's <laughs> doing a. Can you worry taking eye? So, uh, we almost there. And uh, I must say again, being a village entrepreneur and a vlogger at the same time, <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of hard work too. You have to balance the camera, get the right angle, while you have to concentrate. Oh, koi, pita na kangori. See, <laughs> man, that little kid was pulling the end of the bamboo and I was like I couldn't move it and I was thinking what the hell is wrong see again you have to deal with the camera angle carry things and also deal with the demon children this this little man over here this little guy you can just see by his uh, haircut that is a demon child but in a good way in a good way though so this is where we're gonna cook the um, the sea cucumber, or as they call it in um, in Fijian, this type of sea cucumber, loco loco, yeah. loco loco. And um, here is the uh, where the fireplace is gonna be at, and this is the pot we're gonna use. That. Big pot. Seven months in a pot, Nate. Seven months in a pot. So, people, we are on our way out to sea. And, uh, we have this family boat, but there is one problem the engine is broke. So, that means we have to do this. Manual labor. And my cousin is gonna take us to the sea like that. And um, for some of you people that have been wondering why I haven't made more sea content or water content, this is the reason. Um, my um, the engine of the boat is uh, not working right now, so we are trying to fix it. We just need one more spare parts. So, uh, so hopefully by next week we have the engine ready. But for now, you guys have to wait a little uh, before we can go out and dive again and go to the good spots. Morning, Abuchi. You okay, cool, my mother. Mother.
so people, we made it to one of the uh, spot we're gonna try and look for the sea cucumbers. As you can see, it's not far away from the village. Hi, I'm gonna start uh, looking sea cucumber from this point. Okay, people, time to get into the water and uh, find some sea cucumbers. Let's go.
Ooh, ooh.
This is the the main girl of the village. This is the. Hello, Mike. Kum. So people, after the um, we cook it, the uh, sea cucumber, then we uh, put it out in the sun where it's gonna dry. And actually, you can see here. This is my uncle. He went uh, diving for it yesterday. This is how it it looks like when it's uh, been dried out. And you can see how small they are uh, compared to the one that we uh, that we we caught uh, earlier today. Uh, so. Uh, it gets much smaller uh, than that. Update on how it's going. This is Buddha's. Buddha. <laughs> so we are ready to pour out the uh, boiled water so we can get the sea cucumbers out and put them out to dry we're gonna let the experts do this <laughs> and you can nice. really, and you can smell can and you can smell the aroma of the sea cucumber a lovely lovely smell that you won't get anywhere except in Nabuti Good. Good. <laughs> it's uh, good. It's butas. And uh, now we need to hang it out to dry or let it dry. Good morning, guys. This is the day after the. when we end up for diving after the sea cucumber. And you can see the end result right here in the bucket. It's all dried up, but it's still like uh, soft and you can see it's a lot smaller now compared to when we first um, when we first dive for it and this is... what is this? this, <laughs> this is ginger <laughs> and um, yeah, so now we are uh, on our way to the mainland and um, last night it was, it was raining heavily and the weather today is not it's not really good as you can see so let's cross our fingers that uh, the weather on the mainland it's is much better than here we are joined by the best captain in Nabuti Ai au au ta ke kuch ke levna sen ke bol sab mai <laughs> bye, bye. Well, people, um, I think we're in for a bit of a ride. It's gonna be rainy. There's gonna be lots of seawater, and I think we will get very wet. Stick in there because we want to earn some money to make a living in this cucumber business industry. I'm sorry, see cucumber. Hey, spitak, tolo. Speed, speed. Uh, 
uh, island. So I don't, I don't know how he's going to navigate over to the main island. But I trust this captain. They say he's the best in the world. If you want to hire him, his price is $100 million. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna pick one more passenger up and then we'll go to the main Combat the rain so we don't get wet.
tipped over, we have to swim to the mainland or the closest land to us. And we don't want to do that. So rather slow down and make sure you get safely to the mainland. Strong guy. Oh, hey, strong guy. Pull up. Yes. Up. I guess it's the struggle. 
of uh, the cucumber business. You can't always trust the bias. First place was a fail. Now we're gonna try the second place to see if we can find a buyer. You know, this is the first time I've tried this, but uh, these guys, they say they encounter this uh, sometimes where you make a deal and then when you show up, the buyer is not there. So, to the buyers out there, when you make a deal with the deals, make sure you show up. We want to make business, we want to make money. So show up, man. So we have talked to the uh, guys inside, or the people inside the factory. And now we are waiting for some other people to arrive in order for us to talk to them to see if they want to buy the sea cucumbers uh, because they said that this month only this money was allowed to uh, harvest the sea cucumber but when we arrived this uh, factory has haven't got the license yet to buy the sea cucumber so um, there's a miscommunication all around I guess it's uh, part of being in Fiji that uh, you think something and then when you come it's something else um, the struggle of being a village entrepreneur. Yeah, good. Eh? And the plastic. Curry. Curry fish. Curry fish. 7.40. 7.40. So we have experienced another flaw in the system we were told out by the department in our area in the Lomavidi province from the Ministry of Fisheries that we could bring our sea cucumbers today and sell them and when we came today they said you need a license in order to sell those things and they want to confiscate everything that we brought today like you have to think about these guys this is their livelihood so they want us the ministry of fisheries to go home empty-handed when it's their mistake they didn't tell us that we need an extra license to sell they just told us if you have the fishing license you can sell it and now they told us otherwise <sighs> such pain in the ass but uh, i guess it's the bureaucracy of uh, of the government or of the system it's such a shame because some of these guys they come here empty-handed like they are they live day to day uh, paycheck to paycheck and um, someone today told me like some uh, guy that came to sell that he needs this money in order to pay for his uh, daughter's um, college uh, tuition so uh, to the department of Ministry of Fisheries Fiji Please do a better job of informing the people So people we are back at the place where we came by boat to get to the mainland and uh, the Fiji fisheries or what they are called they told us that uh, they gave us permission to uh, to take all our sea cucumbers back to the island until we get the license so we can sell it which I think it's pretty ridiculous because the department in at our district they told us that we just need the uh, the fishing license and we don't need nothing else um and then when we came to the mainland try to sell it they said we need another license so basically you know the two departments they need to communicate better because at the end it's the business and the people who's gonna lose out on this and uh, the journey for itself for these people is um it's rough and it's a whole day trip and you know they're just trying to meet the uh, ends meet uh so yeah, real struggle and um, I must say, damn on you Fiji Fisheries, do a better job, communicate better.
because at the end it's the businesses and the, especially the people who suffers the most and uh, that's it for today people until next time